All right, guys, doing a review today for uh, a new movie I received. Um, I've had it for a while now. Uh, it's called uh, Animal Soup. Heard about it from Mr. Ramon420. Uh, saw one of his reviews on it. He said it was a pretty good movie, pretty pretty whacked out. Uh, I like whacked out movies, so uh, I decided to pick it up. And uh, here's my copy. You can see it there. Uh, you can see I got a couple signatures on it by Jack and also by uh, da uh, David VG Davies. Uh, they are the they, the movie is written directed by them. You know, it's good. This is what horror movies are all about. Underground. When this when I say low budget, this is this low budget right here, man. This is like uh, the the uh, the budget budgeting on this had to been something like. Um, my previous review of uh, Bloodstained Romance, um, little to none, and uh, they did a lot of stuff all on their own, um, and, and they made it work. It's it's great. I'm glad I got it. Glad it's in my con uh, collection. I got a lot of Twisted movies. Now I got one more, uh, and you got to love it. I, I love having movies with signatures on them. Even if people don't know who they are, it doesn't matter to me. I know who they are. Uh I've watched their work, so it's cool. Standard release. My card there. Alright, says many thanks. We hope you are deeply disturbed by Animal Soup. And it's signed there by uh, Bo Jack and uh, David. So that's really cool. Alright, so Animal Soup was about campers. People out in the woods. That's what it's about. A uh, couple of goth girls, a couple of guys, a couple of strangers out there. And then basically your uh, twisted, demented guys. One of them's here. Looks like uh, Charles Manson. People said that before. He's right there on the front. And then you got another guy that likes to wear uh, some masks. Uh, basically people's faces. <laughs> the twist on this is that there's... People getting shit on, vomiting, guest appearance by um, Lloyd Kaufman. He does an infomercial, which is pretty badass. Um, the skin mask, there's one uh, that the guy wears near the uh, end of the film that has like two faces put together. And when he puts that on, man, it's pretty whacked out, dude. It's, it's out to lunch, that's for sure. What I think of the movie... I thought it was pretty good. I, you know, it's I, I like independent horror films like this, or I don't know if you'd call this a horror film, more like uh, just somebody's really nasty thoughts put out on a film, and then uh, they kind of went with it, and uh, then they sold it to somebody like me that bought it. I would say that uh, in the movie, there's a scene in there that definitely kind of, it definitely did. It brought Cannibal Holocaust to mind. <laughs> and uh, you just kind of look at it and go, hmm. Yeah, well, that just happened. Yeah. Of course, there's a few other scenes that you see uh, in the movie, and you're just like, oh. <laughs> Interesting. But um, if you've ever seen uh, Lucifer Valentine's uh, Vomit Trilogy, then, I, uh, you know, I don't know. I got a friend that has it. I've watched them. I watched two of them. I haven't seen the third one. It was a little over the top. Not really my type of thing. But um, you know, I was glad I at least checked it out. There's a little bit of vomiting in this that will kind of get you. You know, like, oof. What the fuck did they eat? Apparently it was bad food. And the guy that takes his shit, he ate something bad too. Because, man, you can just tell it's not good at all. Oh, and the bra? <laughs> the fucking bra is badass, man. It has a little... Anyway, I'm not going to ruin it. Just check it out, man. If you can find you know, if you can find a copy of this, it's definitely worth it. Uh, depending on you know, what kind of collector you are. I like anything that I can get, the, uh, get a director to obviously sign. And then, of course, is uh, something that if I decide to show to a couple of my friends, they're going to just look at me and be like, what the fuck? What was that shit? I tried to watch it with another friend of mine. Uh, the only problem was I couldn't. I didn't realize it. It's a, a region zero. And so it wouldn't play at his house. Um, but um, all my movies anyways, I don't ever use the disc. I rip every one of them. 
to a computer. Uh, and then once I rip them, I just stream them over to uh, my media center. So uh, that way I don't mess up the disc or if they have the signatures on them, I just don't want to touch them and mess them up. Um, so uh, I'm going to have to take this one over there and, and let him check it out, man. He'll he'll scratch his head. It's not very long. It's only uh, like 67 minutes. Yeah, 67 minutes long. And uh, But it's definitely worth it. Um, you see a lot of people pissing. Like I said, you see some shitting, uh, a lot of vomit. Uh, there is a couple of parts in there that kind of caught me off guard, and I was like, ooh. Yep, that just happened. <laughs> but uh, overall, I'd say it's, it's good. It's definitely good. I, I, would, I would say go check it out if you can, or if you know anybody that has it, borrow it and check it out, and then see if you want to buy it from there. But yeah. Animal Soup Uncut. Uh, I said, buy it, don't steal me, I'll fucking eat you. Because you're only meat. <laughs>